Well, guys, we got a major problem, a major, major problem at the border that has kind of really spilled over the border and into pretty much a lot of uh, blue cities now because Texas took a stand against illegal immigration into our state. They said, OK, the left wants to play games. They want um, they want to be sanctuary cities, sanctuary states. Why don't we ship them over to the blue cities and blue states? Namely, like um, New York City, in this case. New York City is getting destroyed by illegal aliens. Illegal aliens. These people, man, are not um, asylum seekers. They're not. You're actually supposed to be claiming asylum like in the next country over. But we're getting illegals, you know, coming from everywhere, all over the world, man. We don't have a border. Texas is doing what we can to actually protect our border. But in New York, man, they're actually going to be giving um, food stamps to illegal aliens. Yeah, because apparently the food that they're actually ser- um, serving at um, this uh, shelter that they're in, the illegals are complaining about it. So now they're going to give, I believe, something like a family for like a thousand dollars a month. On the taxpayer dime. But also we have a major criminal element out there in New York. Just the other day, illegal aliens were actually beating up the police. And they escaped. Alvin Bratt said, nah, we're just going to let them go. No bail. Actually, a couple of those guys actually got caught in Arizona. And I think they're going to get um, shipped back over to New York. These people should not be here anyway. Illegal immigration is wrong. And Joe Biden, man, he is facilitating human trafficking. They're not vetting these people, man. And this story we're going to be talking about here is horrifying, man. Because we're letting in um, pretty much gang members that are going around and terrorizing the citizens of New York and America. This video is astonishing, man, because I didn't know about this. I believe this actually happened the other day. But in New York, man, if you commit a crime, you're going to be let go. That's the reason why these illegals are not actually doing it like in the state of Florida. Somebody actually went on CNN and actually mentioned it because in Florida, you go to jail. In New York, they let you go. So make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday. If you're watching on Rumble, click the join button, get access to the same thing as well. We appreciate the support. So right here, guys, on the New York Post, and I'm going to adjust that language here. Okay. Horrific video shows woman dragged along NYC street by illegal alien moped gang linked to dozens of brazen attacks. 62 grand larcenies. This is also over here on um, the post millennial as well. This is insane, man. We're going to get to the video, but let's read some of this here. Two men were busted in a Bronx as part of a moped moped um, riding uh, illegal alien crew that has been snatching cell phones right out of New Yorkers hands in daring busts of street crime. And police sources say they've already flipped on the group's ringleader. The two suspects. Uh, Clyber Andrade, 19, and Juan Uskatsku, Uskatsku, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correct, 23, were allegedly part of a water ring whose members are connected to 62 different instances of grand larceny throughout the Big Apple, including a shocking caught on video heist in which a 62 year old woman was brutally dragged down a Brooklyn street. Police sources told the post. Let's go ahead and watch this clip here. There's no sound on this. This is terrifying, man. I mean, we need to close that border here. You're going to see this here. Right there. That's the moped right there. And they drag the woman and she hits that post right there. And she goes down. 
This is the kind of people that are coming into our country illegally. This is horrifying, man. Horrifying that this is happening in our country. Cops are still searching for the ringleader, a Venezuelan illegal alien named Victor Para, 30 years old of the Bronx, who was uh, cut loose by a judge in December after getting picked up for grand larceny. Sources said, you see, guys, New York, they just let you go. They just let you go. All these illegals, man, coming in and destroying the city. At a Monday press conference, NYPD Inspector Nicholas um, Fiore said Para has uh, convinced others to, quote, go do his dirty job, dirty work to grab phones and stuff. Uh, quote. He's the bit target. He's caused a lot of problems in New York City and hopefully we'll grab him. We get some uh, headway on this. And uh, this is uh, the two criminal alien suspects right there. Why are these people in our country? Why? This makes me furious, man. These people are not asylum seekers. They're criminals. They know that Joe Biden is just going to let him in. They know that. These are gang members. They're not asylum seekers. The NYPD outlined the gang's uh, vicious tactics in a video clip posted online, which showed a uh, moped-born robber dragging Irena uh, Pantaleva 62 across the pavement in front of uh, Bay Gourmet Deli Juice Bar on Sheepshead Bay Road just three days after Christmas. The thieves made off with uh, Pantaleva's bag, keys, phone, credit cards, and glasses, all while she uh, carring through the air and slammed into a metal bike rack. Wow. Uh, quote, I feel bad. I feel bad. Uh, Pantaleva told the post over the phone. The thieves stole my bag. Neset Mamudowski, 69, her building super, told the Post that the bruised and battered victim was terrified after the attack and had him change her apartment lock. Wow. Uh, Quote, she's a nice lady, a good person. Uh, Mamudowski said of uh, Pantaleva, labeling her attackers scumbags. Uh, Quote, I came here 44 years ago from Yugoslavia and I had respect for the USA. Not like these thieves. Well, the thing is, man, the politicians. They don't really respect the USA. They're letting in these illegal aliens and they are terrorizing you. You people, man, in New York City need to change your voting habits. Stop voting Democrat. There's also more people here that identify in the ring here. Uh, Cops also identified six other people connected to the ring. Yam Jimenez, 25, of Manhattan. Anthony Ramos, 21, of Manhattan. Uh, Richard Saldado, 21, of the Bronx. Uh, BK Jimenez, 21, of the Bronx. Maria Menonora, 32, of Manhattan. Samuel Castro, 27, of Queens, uh, according to sources. Wow. This is... Is terrifying, man. New York City is getting destroyed, man. New York City is getting destroyed, man. This is unthinkable, man. All of these crimes out there, courtesy of illegals. But New York wants to be a sanctuary city. New York State wants to be a sanctuary state. Now, all of a sudden, you know, Kathy Hochul, after those um two um police officers got attacked, she's talking about deport them. What the thing is, you're a sanctuary state. You asked for this. You asked for this. Actually, you know what? You should actually be calling a special session right now to revolt the sanctuary status of New York. Get rid of all these sanctuary cities in New York. Don't make New York state a sanctuary city. That's what you you should actually do. But are you going to do that? No, you're not going to do that. 
But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time.